What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are back in Miss Survival today. A couple things we're going to do is we are going to find us a revolver and we are going to start building. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button. It is 10.52 so we have plenty of time. To get the revolver, I do recommend having a vehicle. It is a pretty good trek over there if you don't. Check the description, I have a link for a guide to get a vehicle quick. So let's uh, head on over to the Big Bandit Town. And remember, some of this stuff doesn't load in immediately, so take your time getting through this little area here. I'm not sure if the bandits have respawned up here, so we'll have to just, uh, I'm just gonna drive through as quick as we can. This camp right here, that's where we saved Kate. So we're going to go up here and take a left. So as you can see, you can definitely get here by foot, but it's going to take you a while to get over here. Take another right here. So this is our uh, bandit town. I think there's generally 9, 10, 11 bandits here. But right now, since we're just getting the revolver, we're going to go over here and park. There's a little safety save, pull out our shotgun, so there's generally not any uh, infected in the house, but just in case. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and loot up everything we can. Then we'll head downstairs, get that gun. Actually, let's go ahead and go straight to it. So you're gonna come in down the stairs. Just have a quick look, just to make sure there's nothing around. And your revolver is gonna be right here. I didn't bring any revolver ammo with me, so. But there are some goodies around here, so. Sure you grab these uh, loot containers. And good luck getting out of here. <laughs> Just gonna throw them outside for now. And then we'll come back in and loot the rest of this house. I'm not going to worry about looting the town just yet. So when I do that, I want to be ready to uh, take out all the bandits. And there are generally four infected here to take care of. Not in this house, but in order to get some loot. Alright, so then over here, there are generally two, two cabinets. So I can go that engine. But I'm not seeing this file cabinet. Maybe I'm just in the wrong area. No, I guess there aren't going to be any clock on as far as this. Alright, well, let's head on out of here. Actually, let's go ahead and finish looting first. Some of the stuff has changed in here. They've done a few, uh, few updates. Shirt, if you want it. I don't want it. Bottles, bandage, I think that. Alright, so I guess we've got everything in here we need. we got the one container in here. The one storage container. So let's go ahead and grab that. On the truck. Let's head back to the White House. So 
So every once in a while, uh, something to keep an eye out for. For whatever reason, these bandits just start walking out into the woods. Uh, generally, it's over that direction. Oops. It's over that direction. Uh, so just be cautious. I don't know where they go, where they come out. So. We've been warned. It may have been from like a, a previous patch a long time ago. I know the bandits used to attack camps. Uh, I've never actually been in, uh, had that happen, but I think they took it out from that after I started playing, or before I started playing. So it may be something that has to do with that. But, you know, if you want to kill them easily, just let them walk out of town, you come up behind with a bow or a knife or whatever, take them out. Alright, we are back at the uh, the White House here. And Rachel, being slacker as always. Let's have a quick look around. I think I've actually decided that uh, we are going to build down by the big lake. Uh, uh, over by the hotel. I just, I think I like that area better. Um, put our water filtration system right on the water because we are actually going to build on the water just to give ourselves a little bit of elevation a little bit of uh, not having any fear of being attacked uh, so to speak so what we're going to do is load up our truck and get all the non-essential stuff out one thing you will make sure you want to have is a lot of food. You're going to be spending, well, we're going to be spending a lot of time there. So, go ahead and get this stuff out. Rifle ammo, we're gonna hang on to that for now. Get rid of this soda here. Yeah, I guess that's a good place as any. Grab this guy. We're gonna go ahead and throw this back in the truck. Like I said, give us a little more storage space so we can take a larger load down. Uh, one of the first things that we're actually going to plan on making is a little hut, I guess, so that we can get these guys down there, uh, Scott, Kate, and even uh, Rachel, so that they can, or so, so at least Scott can start uh, clearing the trees, even though we have a ton here. remember actually does it require yeah it does require logs so you know what first thing we definitely want to do is make sure we have enough to build a small cabin so this will be good we need wood components hammer right, there should be 10 of those one each one
All right, that should be enough logs for now. So let's go ahead and collect up some wood. Uh, definitely gonna need some more wood. So how much wood just to start off with? Um, but basically, I just want to get Scott down there so we can start cutting logs. And then we will ultimately move this back over here so that the uh, uh, so they can continue cutting some trees or boards for us. I know I had a lot more nails. There we go. I don't have a lot of. Alright, either way, it gives us a good start, so let's get down there and uh, get our small cabin built. So then we get Scott down there so we can start clearing us some trees. I'm pretty certain this bandit camp is going to be respawned, so be a little careful here. This is where we're going to start building. We're going to build a little camp here, a little cabin in here, so that he has quite a bit of room to be working. All right, so we need to make sure we can see, so that we can. Yeah, in case that happens. So, because I don't feel like fighting these guys right now, we're just going to go up here to the hotel. Get in the room. And rest for a little bit. All right, apparently that's too much for the truck to handle. Careful, don't want to flip that truck. There we go, this is gone. So generally, I uh, don't like to work through the mist when I don't have any protection, because obviously they're gonna eat me, kill me, whatever. All right, so now we're just gonna head back to me working in that cabin. Uh, what this does mean though, it means we're gonna have to build a new uh, a new blacksmith station which I'm not excited about but you know in the end it doesn't really affect too much so for now I think head back again no protection I don't like working on stuff with no protection because it could have constructed me a little fence to keep me safe but you know just wasted material at this point boy these headlights are amazing I can't see anything. Well, what Rachel's doing, well, good job. You're not leaning up against the post. All right, let's drink up here. Take some nap. I guess until six or so. Alright, 
Oops, I forgot to turn the headlights off. So what I plan to do at some point is maybe cut cut through that forest right there, those trees, and see if I can't get me like a little, uh, not a highway, but, you know, something I can uh, travel back and forth through without having to uh, go all the way up the road. Alright, let's eat something. Doesn't look like a frost, or not frost, but uh, a mist. This more, looks more like a. Although, that looks a bit like a mist. Either way, doesn't matter. We want to set this as our active base and tell Scott, get to work. Thank you, buddy. We are going to start building right here. First thing we want to build is a wall with a ladder that should be good enough now we've got some logs oh I'm missing a saw damn it I forgot to get a saw I happen to have one here Do not. All right, so we're going back to get us a saw. Man, my driving skills are superb today. So as you can see, being right here puts us in a good spot to actually uh, hunt that bear. What we'll eventually do is actually build us a little cage up there so that we can just kill him with a, with a spear. Did I completely forget to grab a sec? Yeah, it looks like I did. Darn it. All right, and we are back. <laughs> Got me a couple hammers now. So we are good to finish this thing up. So what this does is actually give us some space. Um, in the event of a miss, we can get up here and relatively protected. Uh, we are gonna build out this direction. So, Now we want the wooden floor. Sometimes these things can be a little hard to line up. 
Doesn't have to be perfect, I guess. Looks a little crooked. I'm gonna go with that. And we are out of nails. But that being said, we are going to. Oh, we're not out of nails. Out of wood. Uh, a lot of nails. Let me pick up a few. Scott, you're doing an excellent job, buddy. There we go. We have our first platform. But we are going to go ahead and call it here for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to go ahead and drop them down below. Otherwise, I do hope to see you guys in the next video.